I'm now at a cross-country ski resort called Teacup Lake, sort of an informal resort. There's just a little box that you stuff some, uh, they asked for a seven buck donation, so pretty fair deal. And uh, as you can see, this is just unbelievable scenery right here. That is uh, Mount Hood there. Tallest mountain in Oregon, a volcano along the lines of Mount St. Helens, except that dormant, not extinct. Uh, but I think pretty unlikely to do anything. Well, looky here. <laughs> Holy moly. I don't even have the zoom on right now. <laughs> cool. Didn't expect that to happen. So that is Timberline Lodge, a historical landmark and a symbol of Oregon. But more than that, it is where the movie The Shining was filmed. Inside there. With uh, Jack Nicholson. I haven't seen it. And this is where my YouTube channel began. So I'm going to tell the story now as I walk along and uh, explore around here and then go inside the lodge and maybe get a drink or something. So the first video that I posted on my channel was not filmed here. It was filmed out there at Teacup Lake, a cross-country ski resort where you just uh, put some money, I think that it was like into a little uh, box, no people there manning it or anything and then you can just uh, ski around so first i need to go back to uh 2008 when i bought my first digital camera i was working in jasper national park in the canadian rockies of alberta i had recently been on an epic uh trip to asia to hawaii Thailand for the first time, India and Nepal. Came back from there. I'd been living in Portland prior to that, but wasn't ready to go back to my life there in Portland working as a delivery driver for a food delivery service similar to Uber Eats before Uber Eats existed back in like 2003 to uh, 2009. And so I decided to go on a road trip and I don't want to get lost on this whole story, but I drove up to Canada and uh, got a job in Jasper National Park. Now, if you're curious to hear the uh, story about how I ended up working in Jasper, it's kind of a crazy, cool story. I made a video about that previously. So I'm working in Jasper. I decide it's finally time to buy a digital camera because I had been you know, taking pictures just with the regular old school style film camera. So in Jasper, I bought a uh, digital camera, just expecting it to be a camera. And then after buying it, I realized that it had video capability. That was just like a bonus. And so I started filming random video clips around Jasper and then I left there the job finished up and after that I decided to move back to Portland and get my old job back delivering food around the city there that was in like November of 2008, right after the U.S. presidential election between Barack Obama and John McCain. 
I watched the election results come in, I think, in Whistler, British Columbia, another ski resort area near Vancouver, because I left Jasper and then went to Whistler considering getting some work there for the winter. But I couldn't find a job, accommodation was insanely expensive, etc. So I went back to Portland and my old job. All right, we got lifts running there. So I uh, moved back into Portland, get an apartment there. And as it goes into winter, at some point, I forget when, I decided to buy a pair of cross-country skis and uh, come up here and go skiing. That might have been kind of later in the winter or going into the spring. But uh, I started driving out here on my days off and just messing around with the cross-country skis at that teacup lake. And then I would come up here and uh, ski around without ever actually buying a uh, lift ticket for the uh, you know ski lift there you wouldn't really want to do that with cross-country skis anyways it's really hard to ski downhill so I was just driving up here finding various spots to ski around just enjoying getting into nature experiencing the snow and the beautiful views etc and so as I showed it was down there at uh, Teacup Lake, where I recorded that uh, first video. I was taking a break and had put my ski pole into the snow and uh, was, I don't know, taking my gloves off or putting them on or getting a drink or something. And then this bird landed on my ski pole while I was filming. And so I decided to post that on YouTube. And so after that, I continued uh, my adventures up here. Uh, around and uh, messing around with the camera and then it goes into summer to uh, you know warm to uh, be skiing I uh, put the skis away and at some point that summer 2009 then I decided I wanted to do another big trip so I planned this trip to Greece Egypt and Turkey I flew to Greece in August of 2009 and spent three months in Greece on the uh, Greek mainland and many of the islands. I brought my mountain bike that I had here in Portland. I flew it on the plane, boxed it up, and arrived in Athens and started that uh, trip around Greece and then flew to Egypt and then went to Turkey, so four and a half months of traveling, and then I came back from that uh, trip, and once again, I didn't feel like going back to my old job in Oregon, and so I called the company that I had worked for up in Jasper to see if they had another position, and so it turned out that they did. They had one position available. I had worked as a gardener in 2008, when I was there and bought the digital camera. But uh, this was a front desk position working partially nights and partially during the day. So I took that job in uh, winter of 2010, worked there for, I forget, seven, eight months, saved up money, and then took off in fall of 2010 on another big trip to the Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, and back to India. I had bought a new camera because when I was in Egypt, then I had that little Kodak camera that I'd bought in Jasper, and I ended up meeting these two girls and a guy. Oh yeah, so this goes into a whole other crazy story. I will try to wrap this up really quick. I was in Luxor visiting the Valley of the Kings and Queens where the pharaohs were entombed and 
I had read about the uh, oases out in the western deserts of Egypt, but it was just totally desolate desert, no towns or anything, for hours of driving, and I think it was in my guidebook that it had recommended trying to find other people and then paying a taxi to take you that distance out to the Dakla Oasis. I was staying at a hotel or a hostel or something, I think it was more of a hostel in Luxor, and so I decided to ask at the front desk and ask them if they could like keep their ears open for anyone else who might want to do the same trip. And sure enough, that worked, and I heard from this uh, girl, like, knocked on my door, I think, and said she and her friend wanted to do the trip as well, and then they'd found another guy who was from Portland. She was Canadian, and her friend was Spanish. And so we uh, organized this taxi ride and did it, drove out there, like, four hours of driving through absolute nothingness to get to this oasis in the desert of Egypt and uh, getting to the point here then at one point then somebody was taking a photo of us I think that it was somebody else that we met on our tours oh maybe the guide or something no it was in the oasis it was some guy that was staying at the uh, um, oasis hotel that we were staying at I think and he was taking a picture of me with the two girls and here is the photo and then right after taking the picture he dropped the camera into the sand and a piece of sand somehow like got inside the camera and kind of messed it up and it was messed up from then on it still worked I was still able to take pictures but the video was kind of screwed up there was like this little speck of sand in the uh, camera from then on and so point being that uh, because of that, I finally replaced the camera, got another camera, and went on this trip to the Philippines and uh, elsewhere in Asia. That camera was not great, but... Alright, so I'm giving the uh, little tour of the place I'm at. It's just a collection of some bamboo huts. Uh, down there is the restaurant. I used it for uh, quite a while, and so, point being here, that is when I started making videos more regularly and posting them directly on YouTube. The other stuff that I'd made in Jasper, around here, and then even that uh, big trip to uh, Greece, Egypt, and Turkey, I wasn't taking those video clips and then going to YouTube and posting them. It was later that I posted some of those clips. I was posting them on Facebook and not getting any comments or views. Maybe Facebook wasn't counting the, the views at the time because I feel like, you know, I never saw any indication that anybody had seen any of those video clips that I had posted there. But still, I was like fully vlogging. I started talking to the camera and kind of explaining stuff, etc. Hey folks, I am uh, currently on the island of Patmos, um, bicycling to a beach. Uh, it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Saturday, September the 26th, and I've been on Patmos for about four days and uh, done lots of biking around and uh, exploring and uh, lots of great hiking around here. So uh, right now I'm just kind of on a little detour on my way uh, to this beach um, and uh, came across this little church. So. I'll uh, show a quick uh, view of the scenery from here. And then later I would go back and use those clips and make some uh, little films about my trip to Greece, Egypt, and Turkey. But uh, in 2010, then I was posting, uh, you know, like daily almost, that whole big long trip. And then I got back and then, you know, various other things happened. Oh, so I went to Jasper again, worked there again, moved to Hawaii. And it was in Hawaii that I uh, was talking with a friend there 
and saying how I wanted to learn how to do some editing of videos. I just wanted to do something really basic, like just add some text or something. And he said, oh, you have a uh, Windows computer, right? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, there should be Windows Movie Maker on your laptop that's free that you can just start using. And so I checked, and sure enough, it had been there for, uh, you know, since I bought the computer, which was, I think, the previous... No, like in 2009, when I was living here, and then it was in Hawaii in 2011 that this uh, friend said, check your computer, and sure enough, there was Windows Movie Maker, and so I started messing around with it and learning the program, and that is when I learned how to edit videos. So I took those uh, old clips and started editing them together, and then started... Uh, doing some filming with editing them in mind, for example, going to the Kalalau Valley. That was one of the first, I think maybe the very first video that I filmed with the idea to edit it into a real, you know, mini movie. the uh, Kalalau Valley on the Nepali coast of Kauai, Hawaii, where I was living for, I think, eight months. And it was also when I was there that I learned about the concept of subscribers. I remember when I first discovered that I had subscribers to my channel, and I had like 30-something, and I was impressed, like, wow, 30-something people want to follow this uh, this channel? Cool. And then I also learned that you could make money from YouTube. I wasn't monetized yet, but that happened soon thereafter, even though I still had very, very few subscribers. You know, it was probably only like 50-ish or something like that. But then I saw that my channel was monetized. I decided to uh, put ads on the videos and I was making like 10 to 20 cents a day. And so I said, screw this. This is impossible. I'm never going to make any real money with this. And so I took all the ads off of all the videos because I didn't want to be bothering people with ads if I was just going to be making like, you know, a buck or two a month or something. And then later that same year, in 2012, I remember it being like around August or September, I was getting more views and I decided to uh, re-monetize my channel and just see if kind of things had changed at all. And sure enough, I was now making like a dollar or two a day, which is still, you know, practically nothing, but uh, that was a big improvement from 10 or 15 cents. And so I left the ads on, and then later that year, I went on a uh, trip to India again in November or so, November, December or so of 2012 for three months. So usually when people think of the Ganges River, they don't think of nice white sandy beaches where you can relax and go for a refreshing swim. Uh, but here in Rishikesh in northern India, the water is nice and clean. There are no uh, cities or even substantial towns upstream from here. Um, and there are some great white sandy beaches with some nice views of the Ramjula walking uh, bridge over the river. As long as you don't mind a few cows. That is some cold water. It comes from a glacier, Gangotri Glacier, um, which is a long, long journey upstream, up into the Himalaya Mountains. I started filming more concertedly, doing more editing of the videos, and didn't see much of an improvement, really. But I kept with it making a buck or two or three a day. And then fast forward to 2014. I had done another huge trip, eight months, to Asia again, to Indonesia, India, Nepal, etc. in 2013, 2014. And still was not seeing much uh, progress. I went back to Jasper National Park, worked there again in the summer and fall of 2014. 
and then took off on another trip. Went back to Hawaii and then went to Mexico, Belize, Guatemala. And for some reason, that is when things clicked. And by the end of that three month trip, I was making more like four, five, six hundred bucks a month. And so that was hugely encouraging. And I never looked back from there. I never went back to Jasper, never had another regular job since then, almost a decade ago now, other than my one month of working in Alaska and a few random odd jobs here and there. And so the rest of the uh, story is, you know, in videos. But uh, basically I just, you know, kept with it. And as many of you know, was traveling on a extremely tiny budget for years, but it just kind of kept steadily, slowly increasing. And I was able to increase my budget and uh, here we are. Now, you know, professional travel vlogger, making pretty good money, enough to keep me going, and uh, living a pretty crazy, unreal life that seems too good to be true, in which instead of traveling and spending my money down, I travel and make more money. So, pretty surreal. There we go, getting a uh, better view of the mountain. All right, let's go inside Timberline Lodge and uh, warm up and uh, get a drink. So here is the entrance into the lodge. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the left yeah. side you're supposed to have the Yeah. I'll see you guys down This place is ultimate. National Historic Landmark. Rachel Griffin, the originator and developer of the concept of a museum in the restored ground floor of Timberline Lodge. Okay. So this is the museum. Pacific Crest Trail. One of my bucket list adventures to do one of these days. There it is, the red line starting at the United States-Mexico border, going to the Canada-United States border. The ultimate wilderness trek. Built in 1936 and 1937 as a product of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's New Deal arguably the most significant historical structure in the state of Oregon. Unemployed workers, artists, and craftspeople on the rolls of the Works Progress Administration worked with the U.S. Forest Service and representatives from the local construction trades to construct this monumental ski log in just 22 months. There you go, as I said, The Shining. Jack Nicholson, 1980. The Shining at Timberline Lodge, based on the Stephen King novel of the same name, used aerial shots of Timberline as part of its opening scene. Film of the exterior of Timberline Lodge was used for some establishing shots of the fictional Overlook Hotel throughout this cult classic. So maybe it was not filmed inside, I guess. So when I was looking for a hotel, for tonight, then, Timberline Lodge came up as one of the options, but it was quite expensive. I think $255 a night before taxes, and so it might have been closer to $300. Whereas I found a room down in Hood Village for $120, bucks, including taxes. Ooh, it smells good around here.
All right, I am definitely going for a beer. This is a cloud cap amber ale. Looks tasty. Yeah. That is perfect. 